Hi, I'm Phil Baker, President and CEO of Hecla Mining Company, and I'm standing in front of the Campbell House, which uh, was the home of Mace Campbell, one of our founders, and we're celebrating the 125th anniversary of its construction. Uh, we will be having our annual meeting here, and it will be webcast, and I hope you can join us. I want to thank you for tuning in to this, the 2023 first quarter webcast. April 16th marked the 15th anniversary of Heckless purchase of Greens Creek, which is Heckless Foundation, establishing us to be the fastest growing established silver producer. And by 2025, we should be producing 20 million ounces from the United States and Canada. And our growth is on a per share basis. Our average silver equivalent production and silver equivalent reserve per share have increased almost two times since 2008. And April of this year also marks the 10th anniversary of our acquisition of Casa Berardi, which when we acquired it was solely an underground mine. Transitioned to a combination of underground and open pit operation, and it is now transitioning to only being an open pit mine. Now key takeaways for the quarter are the fact that we had a strong operational quarter with free cash flow generation from our silver mines, that we are on track to achieve guidance and we had some very strong safety performance. Now, Greens Creek achieved record throughput, breaking the record set just last quarter and turned in very strong silver and record gold production at 2.8 million ounces of silver and almost 15,000 ounces of gold. All in sustaining costs for the mine were $3.82 per silver ounce, which is a decline over what we had in the fourth quarter. The mine generated 37 million in free cash flow, adding another strong quarter to the nearly 1.9 billion of free cash flow the mine has generated since it started back in 1987. The mine is on track to achieve its production and cost guidance. Realize Greens Creek is the 11th largest silver producer in the world. At Lucky Friday, silver production exceeded 1.2 million ounces, the third time the mine has achieved that in the last four quarters. ASIC was $10.69 per silver ounce. Throughput increased by 5% to 1,059 tons per day. And compared to the fourth quarter of 2022, and we're on track to achieve more than 1,100 tons per day by the fourth quarter of 2023. Capital spending was $14.7 million, primarily on the service hoist and a course or bunker which should be completed this year. The service hoist debottlenecks hoisting capacity while the coarse ore bunker decouples the mine from the mill. Free cash flow generation was 31 million and we're reiterating production and cost guidance. Kino Hill is on track for our mill startup in the third quarter with annual production expected to exceed 2.5 million ounces. Operational performance has translated into strong financial performance. For two consecutive quarters now, silver is our leading source of revenue with more silver production. The cash flow generation of both Greens Creek and Lucky Friday was each more than 31 million and a combined 69 million. We invested 17 million each in Kino and Casa. However, what is most important is keeping our employees safe and we have our lowest all injury frequency rate in our history. We expect to release our 2022 sustainability report at our annual shareholder meeting on May 23rd, which will be both in person and webcast. So I hope you'll listen in. Since 2020, so three years and a quarter, our three mines have generated more than 620 million in free cash flow. We had a margin of $13.66, which is 60% of the realized silver price. In the first quarter, we have already generated almost half of the free cash flow from the three mines that we had in all of 2022. During the quarter, our silver operations generated the second highest revenues and gross margins in our company's history. Total revenues were 200 million with silver the highest contributor of all metals at 38%, followed by gold at 35 and 27% from base metals. Adjusted EBITDA for the last four quarters was 221 million, maintaining our leverage ratio at 1.9 times below our target of two times. 
We ended the quarter with 96 million in cash on the balance sheet and 240 million in liquidity. We are reiterating our production and cost guidance for the year. Our silver production growth gets Hecla to about 20 million ounces in 2025. And we should continue to grow with our Montana properties that are the third largest undeveloped copper deposit in the United States with more than 1.4 million tons of copper and 330 million ounces of silver. Finally, I want to end with something that is not directly about Hecla. HR1. This is the first bill of the 118th Congress, and it's a permitting reform bill. Whether it passes or not is not necessarily the important thing, but this bill indicates Congress' first priority is reform of both permitting and the litigation that follows. Attitudes are changing, so permitting reform is likely in the next few years. This is in stark contrast to Mexico, which is the larger producer of silver in the world and has just enacted a law that makes mining harder. And finally, I want to congratulate and thank all HECLA employees across all our sites. HECLA's success is because of their dedication to safety, the environment, innovation, and execution. Thanks for watching.